Today, we play Minigame Island in Wii Party on the hardest difficulty we have. I'm not sure if we can win this. We're going to have to play very well in the minigames, and we're going to need a lot of luck. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoy this video. Guys, I have heard so many people talk about how difficult the hardest difficulty is in this game. Things might be absolutely chaotic, or maybe we'll play really well and get incredibly lucky and actually win. I have no idea how this is going to go. Good luck, everybody! Okay, so here's the first round of the game. Play for position. So I guess we should start off with a mini game. Stop watchers. Stop your clock at the time shown at the top. Your clock will be hidden after a few seconds, so try to keep count. This should be great. I should be able to keep track of the time really easy. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, who's the closest? Please. Oh, wow, we are much closer than them. They're really up. Okay, that's some, an amazing start so far, winning the first mini game. Okay, and they have a dice roll over there. The middle one is Urshula. That's her name. I don't remember the names of the other ones, but yeah, it's me against three girls here. Oh, this is great. This is an amazing start first. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Okay, many faces. Please go ahead and roll the die. Let's see, and we get... Not an amazing roll, a six. Not a bad roll, but not an amazing roll. Even with just one dice block, you could get that high, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, what does this person here roll? They get a five. Okay, so they're only one behind me, so... Yeah, that's kind of funny that she's actually just right behind me. Okay, Ursula, what about you? She gets a bronze bonus die, so she rolls... Okay, also a five. So far, everyone is right behind me, so it doesn't even matter that I won the mini game, really. And time for Eliza to go, like for Eliza, the Beethoven song. Okay, and she gets just a three over here. So she's a bit back. Nice, we're in the lead! We're in the lead, everybody. We are ahead of the CPUs. Can you believe it? Crash balls. Roll your ball around and try to knock your opponents into the holes by crashing into them. This sounds like it could be dangerous, and hopefully we can do all right and knock these guys around and not fall into the holes ourselves. So let's go. So you use motion controls. Does this work the way that you'd expect? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay back! No! Stay back! Oh, one fell off already! One fell down! And let's see, where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Oh boy, I'm bouncing around! Oh, I wanna stay away from the middle! I wanna stay away from the middle! Stay back! Oh no! No! I didn't move that way! I swear I didn't move my Wiimote that way! Oh my goodness! Looks like Eliza's winning this one, but we are in second, which is still okay. We were still going to get a silver dice block. All right, Eliza. It's funny that she was in last place and she actually came in first in this minigame and she gets a nine. That is a gigantic roll. Challenge time, so I guess you get some more numbers. And she gets a four over there. Okay, so she's kind of far ahead. She gets to move an extra six like that and she lands on a plus four. Oh my goodness, how far ahead is Eliza going to go? What if she just keeps getting boosted all the way to the top? I don't think you can actually do that because it seems like once you get a plus four boost like that, the next panel doesn't actually work. Oh, and I actually just moved my hand to the side as I was gesturing while I was speaking. I did it again. I didn't even press the A button to roll, but yeah, it just rolled by itself for me. Okay, so we go another five. And I land basically here. Okay, so we're in second place right now, unless these others pass me. Oh, doubles. I think that means, do you get to roll again or what happens? Yeah, you get another dice roll. What if you keep getting twos? What if you got another two? A nine, that is a kind of big roll. Wait, is she going to be ahead of me now? This is Urshula, right? I think this lady was Urshula, or was Ur Yeah, this one's Urshula. Oh my, wait, surprise time. Roll to determine which player you'll switch places with. Switch places with me. Oh, wait. Wait, oh, that's the, that's Eliza. Okay, so it looks like Urshula is actually going to be in first place now. Yeah, because Eliza's right in front of me and Urshula is all the way up here now. Good job, Urshula. And now Giovanna is going to go. She's in last place. Dead last place. She gets just a three. Not a very big roll, but is she going to get a nice boost from challenge time? She gets an extra five. Does that even put her ahead of me? It puts her on the same spot as me. I'm tied in last place. We were in first place in the previous turn, but now we're tied in last place. This mini game is called Cry Babies. Calm down your crying baby by rocking it in rhythm with the beating heart. That'll bring a smile to its face. I remember back in high school, there was a class where you'd be given a fake baby and you'd actually have to look after it. And when the baby would cry, you'd have to, you'd have to take care of it. And you have to do other stuff with the baby too. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Do I have to go every time there's a heartbeat? Let's go. And, oh, is this good? Am I doing well? Hey, come on, baby. Come on, baby. And... Oh, do I almost have the baby asleep? Come on, come on. It looks like we've almost got it asleep, and... Come on, and... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! We got our baby! 
Were we first? I think that we might have been first. Yeah, it looks like we were first. Okay, then bottom right is the next one. And who else got their baby? Oh, it looks like Eliza also took care of her baby there. Eliza. Poor Ursula didn't do very well. She couldn't make the baby stop crying. All right, so now I'm going to have a nice dice block. Let's go roll. Give me big numbers. Come on. Ah, nah, nah. Those aren't big numbers. That's just a four. Come on. That is so sad. That's actually so sad. Okay, time for Giovanna. What are you going to get? You got a silver dice block. Oh, you also got a tiny number. Okay, but you get boosted plus four here, don't you? So you are going to be ahead of me, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to go right there where the person in the red is. Who's there on the red? Was that Ursula up there? Yeah. Whoa, she's a ghost. It looked like she was a ghost because the camera was really close to her. So I guess they made her partially see-through. That was actually quite funny. Okay. And now Eliza gets a four. So it looks like I'm going to be in last place again. Yes, I'm in last place again. And Ursula, she gets a roll. Unless she gets a one right now. She gets a five. Okay. Oh, oh, I actually forgot about this challenge time. Okay, so I guess you have to roll a four, five, or six to advance. And you get a four. Of course you get it on the first try and you get to continue. Oh my goodness. Look at her kicking that dragon statue there, just destroying it. Now everyone gets to continue past there. And... Oh, a one versus three minigame. This is going to be exciting. With the win, Ursula will advance 10 spaces, so we really can't let her win this one. Pose aerobics. It's time for some pose aerobics. In each round, the team's goal is to imitate the solo player's pose. Okay, so I think we have to use the D-pad A and B, and we have to try and copy what Ursula does here. Okay, so that one's A, and that one's B. Okay, got it. Start. Let's see. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, oh, that was B. Okay, okay, I wasn't sure what button that was. Okay, so if you go off to the side like that, then it's B. Okay, that one is A if you go up like that. Okay. Oh, it's getting faster. This is scary. Okay, that one is B when you're off to the side like that. Oh boy, this is getting intense. That's A. Very nice. Okay, three more rounds to go. Oh, that's D-pad. Okay, I wasn't sure what that one was. B, one more round! Please tell me we can make it. This is so intense. It all comes down to this. A D pad! Did I make it or no? No! I pressed it, but we didn't do it in time. Oh, I'm coughing. <coughs> man, I can't believe it went down to the final round. It came down to the final round there, but man, I just didn't press the D pad there soon enough, so Ursula gets boosted another 10. So she is very far ahead of us. Okay, round four. Let's see. Oh, look at those birds flying down there. Risky railroad, guys. This is an absolutely intense mini game. It is a bit luck based. Well, actually, it might be completely luck based, actually. So we have to choose to either go straight, right, or left. You know what? Oh, let's go left. Let's go left. At least one person is getting out here. And yes. Okay. Goodbye, Ursula, who is in the red over there. So she's out. Now, what way do we want to go? You know what? Oh, I'll go straight then. I'll go straight then. Okay. Let's see who's getting out. Yes! Okay. All right. This is pretty good. All right. Now it's just the two of us. Who's out? I'm going to the right then. Please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Yes! Oh my goodness. That luck is actually unreal. I can't believe we won that. That was super lucky. How did we always pick the right path? Well, I guess every time there were two correct paths. Okay. I have a sneeze coming up, but hopefully we can get a nice big number right now. We're 56 away and we get... Amazing! An 11. Hopefully that doesn't make us land on a bad spot or push us back very far. Wait, what is this? The stone statue will throw many faces ahead. Yes! Yes, that's amazing. I'd love to be thrown by the stone statue. Let me get onto your hands. It reminds me of that one boss from Super Mario Odyssey. And guys, I can't believe that my playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey has so many views. It actually blows my mind that part one of my Mario Odyssey playthrough has almost 5 million views right now. It is actually mind-boggling. It is crazy how many people have watched that video. I just cannot get over that. I'm so glad that so many people are enjoying the videos. It is actually, it is, it is beyond words. It is just something that I had never expected. And let's check on how these CPUs are doing. Wait, am I ahead of Ursula now? I might actually be ahead of Ursula right now. Yeah, I'm actually ahead of Ursula right now. Yeah, she just has challenge time. Okay, crates or barrels? She chooses barrels. Bad choice! Wait. Does she... Oh, oh, okay. I was wondering what would happen. I'm like, wait, she just made it across anyways. But all that happens is she just doesn't get to keep moving those extra two spots that she had. Derby Dash is this mini game. It's time for a horse race. Giddy up to the finish line, but be careful not to use up your horse's energy too soon. All right, let's get ready for this horse race. 
Her Shulet's face looks so funny. Okay, now, uh, oh, I didn't look at the controls. What do you do? I guess you shake the beam up like this to go faster. Okay, but I kind of want to save up some of my energy. I'm so far ahead of them. This is actually unbelievable. We're not very far into the race, are we? Well, it's nice to be ahead of them. I guess I'm going to save some of my energy. And in a little bit, we'll start to speed up a bit more. Oh, they have a lot of energy. Hopefully they don't have a crazy comeback now. Yeah, because uh, their bar is almost full, actually. Does something bad happen if my bar gets empty? Come on, let's go. No! 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 Did I win or no? Did I win or no? Did I win or no? Did I win? This is going to be so close. Oh, no. I'm so scared. Look how close we are. Tell me they don't beat us. Tell me they don't beat us. Tell me they don't beat us. My hoop is over. Yes! Yes! Okay, does that mean we win? Okay, and my head is over before they even made it. Oh, that was actually quite scary, but I'm glad we won that. All right, time for many faces to roll. Give me a nice big number. 29 away. We're actually almost at the end then. That's unbelievable. And an 11! A nice big number again. Uh-oh! I need a 3, 4, 5, or 6 to avoid the volcano. I sure hope I can avoid the volcano. 3, 4, 5, or 6. Yes! Oh, thank you for not falling into the volcano. Oh, and we're about to pass by another challenge. This is great. I just hope no one lands on a UFO and switches spaces with me. That would be absolutely horrible. Where are you landing? Oh, that looks dangerous. Wait, is a dinosaur going to chase you? Or wait, or do you go into the volcano? Oh, you fell into the volcano. That's so unlucky for you, Eliza. That is so sad. So sad for you. So sad. Hey, Giovanna, your turn. You roll an eight, because you got a six and a two. Don't get a UFO. Oh, plus five. Okay, that's a little scary, because she's getting close. But hey, as long as she's not landing on a UFO and switching spots with me, that's amazing. Okay, now what about you, Ursula? Remember when Ursula used to be in first place? There was a time when she was in first place. Now I'm pretty far ahead in first, but we still do need a lot of luck to win. Lucky launch! The only thing you need to win this minigame is luck. Speaking of us needing a lot of luck, pick one of the four fireworks and hope for the best. Guys, when was the last time that you saw fireworks? There was actually... Oh, oh, oh. We have to choose which one. You know what? Let's choose this big, thick one right here. That's the one that I'm choosing. That looks like it's got a lot of firepower there. Guys, have you seen fireworks recently? In Canada, there was recently a long weekend. I never know when it's a long weekend because I'm just always making videos and sometimes people tell me, hey, it's a long weekend. I go, oh, cool. But yeah, recently we saw some fireworks. I wonder if people in other parts of the world have also had any occasions where they could have seen fireworks recently. Oh no, we're in third place, so sad. The person in last really looks very upset. Look at them pounding the ground over there. But Eliza is the winner. Oh, cool, and uh, the firework actually made the face of the me. Okay, so you're in the volcano, but you get a seven. So are you making it out of the volcano or not yet? Okay, you're almost out of the volcano. That's kind of cool, almost going back to the normal world. And Ursula, she was in second place. So she gets an eight. That's a kind of nice number. Ursula, I'm not sure if the way that it's spelled like this, but Ursula is a somewhat common Polish name. And the way that they say it is Ursula. I don't know if that's a name. Oh, oh, you go into, oh, that's so sad. Ursula is going into the volcano. So sad for her, so sad. I don't know if Ursula is also a name used in other countries. Oh, gonna have to make it past here. Give me a big roll. And I wonder if Ursula would be said in the same. Okay, a six, that's all right. That's all right. Now, we need a five or a six. So, I might not get it. One in three chance. Yeah, so bad, that's amazing. Okay, but what do we land on? That's the more important thing. That's the more important thing, what do we land on? Oh my goodness, plus four boost. My luck actually could not be any better. This is unbelievable. Please tell me a UFO isn't gonna swap with me right now. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you. Please, 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 don't get a one, Giovanna. Please don't get a one, please. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I don't mind you getting a six, that's fine. Challenge time, crates or barrels? Okay, now you're choosing crates. Yeah, last time barrels were bad, so this time crates are good. Surprise time, if you roll a pterodactyl, you'll move ahead, but if you roll a tyrannosaurus, you'll move back. You know what, I was actually at a museum recently. I was in Ottawa recently, and we stopped by the Canadian 
nature museum and they had a dinosaur exhibit. It was really cool. They had all kinds of dinosaur bones and all kinds of cool insects in another section. It was cool to visit. Ottawa has got like a hundred museums. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but Ottawa really does have a lot of museums. I wonder if we have any viewers from Ottawa. Guys, if you're from Ottawa or if you've been to Ottawa, leave a comment. Chopper hoppers, fly your helicopter around and try to pick up as many me characters as possible, one or two at a time. Okay, so we use motion controls to move our helicopters and we press two to drop the ropes. Oh, and there's a Luigi me right over there. Okay, and we should be able to pick up one or two at a time. Let's go here, come, come. Why didn't the other one come? Come, no, no, I'm taking you. Okay, come, go, come, come. You too, yeah, there we go, we got two, okay. What about you guys? A lot over here, come. No, oh, I wanted that one. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you come to me. Come, come, where are you going? Hey, you can come to me now. Come. Why are you running away from me? I wanted to help you. I'm trying to help you guys. Come. Go. Yes, got two. Oh, no, oh, no. Come to me. Come, come, come. Can I get you still? We got seven. That one that we got at the last second let us win by a single point. I'm so grateful that we got that. That's amazing. Okay, and they have to roll the dice box. Oh, it looks like Giovanna is in third and Eliza's in fourth for this mini game. Can I reach the end right now? How far away are we? Eight away. There's a good chance that we reach the end right now. There's actually quite a good chance that we reach the end. Let's see if we can. Come on. Ah! Ah! It keeps getting worse. No. We are one away and then we got pushed back for that dog. Oh, come on, come on guys, come on guys. What is this madness? Hey Ursula, it is your turn. Go ahead Ursula, what are you going to roll? Hey, a seven. Are you getting out of the volcano? Probably not, but you might be getting close. Well, two of the CPUs are in the volcano right now. Okay, Giovanna, don't give me any trouble. Don't land on a UFO, don't land on a UFO. Don't land on a UFO. You got a 3K, that's a blank space. That's actually amazing. I'm so glad that that happened. Okay, Eliza, your turn. Probably after the next mini game, we might be winning. Cause look at these guys, 45, 46 away from the volcano. Hey, play for position, let's go. What's the mini game going to be? Ram Jam, oh. Ram Jam, it's a sprint to the finish. But where did all of these sheep come from? Oh well, the race must go on. Okay, here we go. We're at some village here and we wanna run by these little sheepy sheepies. Look how cute these little sheepy sheepies are. Move, move, move. Move, 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 Yes! Yes! Let me through! Yes! Yes! Move! Yes! What a victory! Oh my- Oh, look at her face, the way that her eyes open like that. There was a moment early on in that race where I was scared at how that might go, but that went amazingly. We just had a really big breakthrough and everyone was stuck behind those sheep. Okay, now we need at least a five. Come on, come on. Last time we needed an eight and we got a seven. This time we need a five. What are we going to get? Come on, come on, come on. Amazing, 11, that is way more than enough. But now I think we have to roll a certain number to win. Final challenge. If you roll a six or higher, the gate will open and you'll reach the finish. Wait, six or higher, but the dice only goes up to a six. So, ah, oh, imagine if we just got a six right away. I don't get pushed back, do I? Can I just stand here? Next time you can use a bonus dice if you win one in the mini game, okay. That's amazing. Okay, so we're probably winning after this minigame, if we win this minigame. And if nobody swaps spots with us, oh my goodness, could you imagine if someone swapped spots with us? Oh, and it looks like we're gonna have a one versus three minigame with Urshula again. Oh, it's a one versus one minigame, not one versus three. Oh, I misread it actually. Okay, fruit focus. Try your best to remember each fruit's location. The first player to get three correct is the winner. All right, I'm prepared. Let's see, remember the fruit. Okay, let's see. Cherry, orange, grape, banana, orange. Apple, grape, orange, banana, cherry. All right, so who's up first? Please be me so that I can just get three in a row. Perfect, okay, amazing. Okay, so let's see. So do I have to, oh, can I choose whichever one I want? Or is it going to say, okay, the first one was cherry, so let's get cherries. It was cherry, orange, grape, banana, orange for the top. Perfect, we got one and it's first to three is the winner. That's amazing that we're first. If the other CPU got to go first, and it picked the right fruit three times in a row, does that mean that they would win and I wouldn't even have a chance to win? Or would I get to go after and then we'll see if it's a tie? Oh, it actually got that one wrong. Okay, yeah, because that one's great. Yeah, I wasn't uh, paying attention to what, what Ursula chose there, but yeah, that one's great. So yeah, it's great that the CPUs can sometimes make mistakes. Anyway, is it gonna be the top row? Oh, that's actually super easy. We didn't even have to memorize the bottom row. That one's orange. Well, actually, oh, Ursula actually got it right, so maybe we do have to memorize the bottom row. Okay, so let's see what it is going to be. Okay, so, 
either gonna be the bottom left. Okay, the bottom left one. Okay, that one's easy. That one is great because we had the two grapes next to each other like that. Let's get that one, and now we should be the winner, right? Please tell me that's right. Perfect. Okay, amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Sorry, Ursula. Looks like you can't advance any farther because you didn't win the mini game. Okay, Eliza, time for you to get out of the mini game. Or sorry, get out of the volcano, not out of the mini game. That doesn't make any sense. And she travels six more. What is she landing on? Don't be something absolutely chaotic. Oh, surprise time. That sounds like it might be chaotic. Okay, a volcano just erupted. That might be chaotic. Okay, looks like there are lots of dangerous spaces here. Okay, lots of minus fours there. You know, that's actually good for me because I'm not going down there, so that doesn't affect me at all. But it might affect some of the other CPUs, which is nice. Oh, you're only 17 away. You're very close. And you rolled a four. Okay, but you don't get pushed back at all. Okay, now it's play for position. If I win this one, then there's a very good chance that we could- Why would you do this mini game? Strategy steps, pick a number, one, three, or five. If nobody else picks it, you'll climb that many steps. First to the top wins. All right, let's see how lucky we can get. And how risky should we play? I'm going for five. And come on, please tell me I'm the only one. Yes! Okay, that's actually amazing, that's amazing. Okay, so the two of them that tried to play safe by picking ones, well, didn't really pay off for them. I'm trying a five again, let's be risky. And? Ah, come on! Come on, someone else pick five, that is so sad. So sad. Hey, they're starting to catch up, I'm going for a five again. Come on, come on. Yes! Yes, okay, this is amazing! This is amazing, I don't reach the top right away, do I? Or five, I need two more. Look how far ahead of them I am. You know what? I'll go for a three. A three will let me win. Oh, everyone picked a three. Okay, that's hilarious. If I picked five right there, I actually would have won. You know, I'm going to go for a five. Because I don't want them going for fives. Okay, amazing. They all picked once. This is actually the biggest victory I've ever had in this game. I destroyed those girls there. When I play against easier CPUs, they play better. That's actually so strange. Man, taking a risk really paid off here. So we've actually got to be winning here now because we just have to roll a six. We have two dice blocks. We have the gold one. There's no way we don't roll at least a six, right? Come on, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's destroy that. It looks very cloudy and stormy up here at the top. Oh, I think that's because the volcano is still active from the previous turn. All right, but there we go. We have a winner. I can't believe it. we actually won this on, I don't know if it's the hardest difficulty in the game or the hardest difficulty that we have available, but we actually beat them and it wasn't difficult at all. Victory! I really recommend you watch my video where we play Mario Goes Back to School and Super Mario Maker 2. It is such a fun level. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.